Hi, my name is Dave, and uh, this is my logo planning video. Okay, now the first thing we wanted to look at was the title. The title is called Tiny Giant Production uh, Production Studios. Sorry, uh, I want to do this because it's quite like sort of oxymoronic, and it's quite a contrasting to show like it's not going to be just a simple um, as you expect piece. It's sort of going to be something quite interesting or at least unexpected so we've got three designs uh, that I took the first one is one where uh, all of them are featuring the same uh, sort of pose I'm sitting on the G uh, in that sort of that pose uh, there's all sort of different variations like that. so the first one is one where I'm in color so why did I choose me like that well first of all I want to cartoonize it is that the word? Yes, cartoonize it. Uh, basically because I didn't want it just to look like I've slapped a picture I took on a logo because it doesn't really fit. We want it to be quite cartoony and sort of... So it's, we want the drawn effect almost. So I chose the one with colour because I wanted to see how it looked, the red and the grey and the sort of peachy on the just black writing. Uh, while this does definitely stand out, it's not the best choice because it doesn't sort of fit because again the greys the pu the purple and the peachy doesn't really fit with just the pure black it needs to be so if we were to do something like that it has to be something like um red yellows blue not blues something darker uh some brighter even sorry uh that would work better uh so the second one i moved on to was i just tried black and white just draw uh, so like a sort of photocopy of that image. Uh, this works quite well because it again fits with the black and the white because it's going to be black text, white background. So that's going to work quite. It works really well with um, the text and it sits quite well on the picture. But the problem was again, uh, it was just black around the outside, then like almost white in the middle, just a little bit of grey. Again, the grey doesn't really fit with the black uh, it's it just sort of um, I think the word of it now uh, like it doesn't sit well with the black because it's trying to it's standing out too much and we don't want that to stand out too much from the rest of the text uh, so then on to the third one the third one was the final one the one I decided I liked the most uh, that's the one where it's just pure black and I've just changed the eye to white because otherwise you wouldn't be able to read it. Um, and I think this works the best because it's really simple. It is coloured to the text uh, well, so it's all the white. It's all the it's all, right, all the black text, and then it's got the black picture, which just it's quite um, if it's quite good symmetry, I'd say, because it's quite it fits together quite well. Uh, and then obviously I had to change the eye because you couldn't read it and you wouldn't know what it meant. <laughs> if uh, my legs in the way uh, so yeah we chose that one in the end because it uh, gelled quite well with the rest and it sort of actually looked like a logo you could put to a production company and they could use it okay so that's just my uh, quick video on my logo planning thank you for watching